Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are discussing the crossover villagers returning to New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, Nintendo are not shy when it comes to cross-promoting one franchise with another and including items or characters from popular games in others. This has of course been the case too with Animal Crossing pretty much since the original by including references to characters from other games as well as special Nintendo furniture items that you could find like the Master Sword for example. Not to mention the complete full NES or NES games you could play but that's a whole different ball game. Anyway, as recent as Happy Home Designer and Animal Crossing New Leaf, there are a whole bunch of new crossover villages added to Animal Crossing that were based on characters from different franchises including Splatoon, Legend of Zelda and Monster Hunter amongst others. These new characters were primarily the result of the compatibility of particular amiibo figures from other franchises. Now, it turns out the IDs for pretty much all of these crossover characters have been found in text strings from New Horizons data mines, but more on that shortly. First, let's take a look at all the crossover characters discovered. Some of the characters based on characters from the Splatoon franchise include Cece, the peppy squirrel, who is of course based on Kali, there's Vici, the normal squirrel who is based on Marie, and finally Inkwell the jock octopus who is based on the Inkling and Squid characters. Next, some of the characters based on the Zelda franchise include Ganon the cranky pig who is obviously themed around one of Zelda's main antagonists, Wolf Link the smug wolf based on the wolf from Twilight Princess, we have Medley the normal bird who is based on her namesake from Wind Waker and finally Epona the peppy horse who of course resembles Link's horse from the Zelda series. And the final characters are kind of one-off crossovers and they include Feline the lazy cat based on a Monster Hunter main character, Philly the normal horse who was added to Animal Crossing as part of the famous 7-Eleven promotion alongside some super awesome 7-Eleven shop items and finally Holden the jock hamster inspired by the Fueki glue franchise in Japan. All of these characters found their way into New Leaf through the use of Amiibo and most of them could even move in as permanent residents of the town which was super awesome. Now the IDs of all these special characters based on various other franchises have been uncovered in New Horizons data mines and currently exist in the game's code. The IDs refer to the corresponding villager pitches in the game and thanks to the hard work of the data miners we know these have actually been present since the launch version of the game so it's really weird no one has talked about this before. Anyway this doesn't mean these characters are definitely returning though but it's really awesome to know references to their villager pitches are there so there's a chance. It's worth noting that the data only includes the IDs though and as you can see doesn't include the villager quotes for the crossover characters like it does for the ordinary villagers. Now these crossover characters are not to be confused with the Sanrio characters who although aren't in New Horizons can have their amiibo scanned at Harvey's cabin to unlock unique Sanrio posters. Currently if we scan any of the crossover characters it says these amiibo aren't compatible and doesn't even name them. So whilst this is just a theory, I would guess at some point in the future either through a promotion or a free update, some of these crossover characters will return to New Horizons. Most likely we could see the Zelda ones maybe when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out for example. Anyway, I'm not sure if we'll ever be able to invite them to move in or not, but I think at the very least they could have the same functionality as the Sanrio characters do currently so we can get their corresponding in-game posters. But what do you think? Would you like to see the likes of Wolf Link return to New Horizons or would you prefer new crossover characters? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course I'd like to thank the data miners for all their hard work and for sharing their findings with the community. As always I'll leave links to the original findings below, be sure to check them out. Anyway for now that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I know I say it all the time but I literally couldn't do it without you. 
Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment villagers just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include who your favorite crossover character is, as well as what new items or furniture sets you'd love to see added to the game. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.